Hey everybody, the Burger Kingdom here, and welcome to the kingdom. And I just want to say to y'all, uh, man, things have been awesome with my None the Wiser Part 3. <laughs> Over a hundred views. Y'all are crazy. It was like just yesterday. Uh, it'll be like the, the, the day after when I officially post this video. But dang, you guys are crazy. Oh my gosh. That was so awesome. I just want to thank you guys about my heart. And I've been getting all your comments as well saying how good I was doing. Uh, I appreciate it. It means so much to me. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. And uh, I also commented on your channel as well. Hope you got that as well. And uh, I just want to say thank you. It means so much to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Real Talk episode. Or we're, we're moving on up there. Uh, so yeah, I just I just want to say thank you guys. It, it melts my heart. It, it's it's so nice to see that we're getting benefits. All right, uh, enjoy the episode. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, sorry. Uh, I've made a little same re recording thing. Something popped up, but uh, I'm good now. Uh, <laughs> so uh, to begin with the first question for this segment, as I often get asked this a lot, and um, it's pr it's pretty important that we tackle this down, so that we uh get deep with it, get get real with it, you know. All, all joking this aside, let's just get deep, let's just get real, that's what real we'll talk some about. So, uh, the question I often get asked, uh, there's two big ones, I, I can put them both in this one segment, is, um, what's the best part of human nature and what's the worst part of human nature? And, um, these are good questions. <laughs> so, um, uh, we're going to start with the worst and then end with the best. Um, the worst part of, uh, human nature is, um, we are often, we often want to do the things that we are not supposed to do. For example, if you go up to somebody and say, don't look, don't look behind you. The first instinct is going to look behind them, you know? <laughs> um, that's just, that's just the way it goes that's just human nature we want to do things we're told not to do why we don't really know it's just that's why it's called human nature it's just like an instinct we have we want to do this because we're not supposed to and then that often leads to another bad thing about human nature is that we want to keep on doing this bad thing multiple times and time and time and time again until we get caught we don't know why we do this and yet we still pursue this because we just, it's just human nature, I guess, because this happens to me as well. We do bad things that we know we shouldn't be doing, but we do it anyway, just for the thrill of it, just to spice some things up. We do it for the thrill of it, you know? And um, we want to just keep on doing it until we get caught. And if we don't get caught, then we, then we want to do it again for more thrill. What's going to happen, you know? Ooh, ooh, ooh. But um, in the end, it's just not, it's just not the best idea. And, but that's just, we just got to do it just because it's human nature. And that's something that's, that's really bad about human nature and that we should try to refrain from. We should try to refrain from doing the things we're told not to do. Because uh, we're told not to do these things for reasons. Because people speak, oftentimes people speak from experience when they're trying to give you a warning. Um, now I want to move to the best part about human nature. And that's just the ability to feel one's feeling. And um, if you take, for example, if you have two babies, okay, one baby, one baby just starts crying for whatever reason, the other baby is more than likely going to cry as well. And and they do this because it's human nature, even as little babies, to where if someone's sad or something, we, we feel that feeling, we feel what they're feeling, and we want to try to help them with that. And, and we try to help them with that with feeling for them, saying, you're not alone in this, I'm suffering too. And uh, that part of human nature is amazing. It's beautiful. And it's so, it's just so authentic. It's great. It's its truly astonishing and remarkable. The feeling of how we want to help somebody. And that, it's just, that's just human nature, you know? And uh, the the feeling of like pride that you have in yourself is, is like the reward in itself. Like I helped this person, you know? It's, it's amazing. Um, very amazing. Ah. Uh, I, get, I just get lost in words for that. And then another great thing about human nature, and this is a little controversial, but love it, love itself is a big aspect in human nature. And I, and like, there's so many things in love. It's never the way Hollywood makes it seem. It's, um, 
it's always it's always back and forth uh love is going to make you happy it's going to make you sad it's going to make you like feel like you're on cloud nine at one point and at another point it's going to kick you when you're on the ground i don't know why this happens but that's just the way love is and that's like human naturistic of us we we, we naturally want to have this feeling of love but it just doesn't come out the way hollywood makes it seem it's never like you do a little struggle and happily ever after it's you guys are always going to fight through struggle but true love is going to stick through the whole time and that's the kind of love that's amazing and that humans want to show and want to have so that part of human nature is amazing so as, as i've mentioned there's good things about human nature there's some bad things about human nature but ultimately i, I do believe humans can do good i just, i do believe we can make impact and changes on a day-to-day -day basis uh moving on to question number two okay so for the second question um give a little background uh and in, in school and stuff, I'm known as one of the, like the the smart kids because I pay attention to to details and I focus on what on what, on what we're being taught at that time. I have a pretty good short term memory loss. Long term, it's not the best, <laughs> but I do pay attention pretty pretty nice and I do well on tests. So people will come up to me, especially in science classes. They'll come up to me. They'll say, Malachi, what aspects do humans have that made us so successful as a species? And honestly, this question is a little hard to tackle on, like, full thrust. But um, ultimately, I believe what, what humans have that made us more successful than any other species is that um, God created us to, uh, to have, like, souls. We, each human has soul. We all have a soul. Animals and other things, they do not. That's what separates us from every animal ever is we have souls animals do not and that's kind of the aspect of what makes us you know work harder another big aspect that we have is our brains knowledge our technology man alone cannot necessarily kill you know a hungry lion or a bear or something but we have the technology we have the intelligence to use weapons to defend ourselves and now it's like around like america and stuff everybody's got like a home and and we have the smarts to use transportation and stuff uh, uh, just our intelligence and the self to think um, outside the box uh, is what separates us from the animals. And now we're at the point where we're at the top of the food chain to where we have animals as our own little pets. That's how evolved we are from the other animals. That's how that's far our intelligence got us. And um, And you don't have to necessarily be the smartest kid in class to have the basic intelligence to know how to survive. I think survival in itself is a whole other class that they should teach you because it's very necessary to to have, and that's what made us get this far in in a human life form and stuff. And so that that's what that's what separates us from all the other animals and that whole species thing is that the aspect of us, like having souls, that's what separates us. Having a mind, that's what separates us. And as I said before, there's nature and stuff and wildlife and things like that. And there's also human nature as well. And the human nature aspect is what is what brings us to like connect us more than the other animals. A lot of animals, they'll be in like packs and stuff. Like different animals, you can think of them as, as like different races and stuff. But um, because of our human nature, it brings us close and connects us to where um we're all connected and we're all humans and we all can relate to different pains that we're feeling and you don't necessarily and the cool thing that humans have is that that animals don't is that humans can like relate to the to the pain that a human is having without having to experience what that specific human is having they just know the feeling and uh that's just incredible how someone can walk in your shoes without knowing exactly what you're going through but they still relate so in a way i guess they do walk in your shoes but that's just something really cool to me at least um it's amazing to watch uh how far we've come i know it's been, i know it's been years and stuff but like even if you take my channel for example i saw it off man just as a little kid making videos for fun and like now this is a, is a necessity for me this is something i need to have something i i got to you know i now want this thing you know and uh, it's awesome to see this and that's just kind of another thing that humans have that animals don't is this desire to like want something and um and a big impact in life is that if you want something in life you gotta go and get it 
because it's not going to come. It's not the thing you want in life. It typically won't come at you as you just sit back and, and watch things happen. Now, you got to work hard for it. You got to get there. And once you do, you can you can probably say, oh, I did my best to get what I when the, the, what this thing I wanted in life. And uh, that's a big thing that humans have. We wanted technology. We wanted to be evolved. We wanted to be better than animals. That's what we did. And uh, that's amazing, you know. We couldn't have done that without God. And, uh, you know, it's just incredible to see how better we are than your basic animals. But uh, that's that's pretty much how humans have like evolved throughout time. And that's, that's like the aspects that we have on how we were able to fight off bears and stuff is because even as like even as what most people think we were cavemen uh we even had the technology then to use rocks and stuff so that's how we have evolved and now let's go to question number three so ever since i, I made real talk i've been getting a lot of questions about humans in itself and uh this is pretty great this gives me topics to talk about and and they're all different stuff. It's just kind of crazy to talk about humans a bunch, but I under I understand why. I mean, humans are very hard to understand, very hard to comprehend. But I think I got the basics down. Uh, so a question I get asked a lot. Uh, they'll say the McGregor Kingdom. How? What? What makes humans believe with all their hearts and absurd conspiracy theories? And to be honest, that that's honestly a really good question because I know a lot of people they ponder this idea is like, like why do they why do they believe this crazy absurd conspiracy theory? Like why did they believe this so much? And yet I'm living my life proving that their conspiracy ain't true. And uh, I get that. I get that. I I understand why why you would question that. I do. And um and the big thing you have to separate is what's the difference between a conspiracy theory. And then a regular theory, you know, uh, a, a regular theory, the basic definition of regular theory is just like an idea of something that, that isn't fully proved or explained. It's just like your theory around it. And a conspiracy theory is pretty much the same thing, but more, I guess, I guess you can say like more absurd, uh, more bigger than life uh, kind of action rather than a theory, which is just like, like the Big Bang Theory, you know. It's not officially proven. That's why it's called the theory. It's just a, a theory someone had. And a lot of people backed it up. And then if you take that from a conspiracy theory of the president being aliens, you know. And then, and then you, think to, you think to yourself, what, what makes this, what makes like a conspiracy theory of, of presidents being aliens that much more absurd than Earth coming from a bunch of rocks colliding together, you know. You have to think about what, what's the big difference there. And honestly... The biggest difference is the society standard. We all just are taught in schools, oh, this theory is we come from two asteroids colliding, and that's how we created Earth. And people are just like, okay. <laughs> that, that's, that's what they believe. And, um, and But if, if you're told something else that's not necessarily in school where you're supposed to learn new factual things, then you often think it's not true. And um, it's crazy the conspiracy things out there i have this friend uh her mom big conspiracy theorist and i, I love just sitting and listening to what her theories are and uh, a lot of times they're pretty well thought out and very specific and and they definitely know what they're talking about they're very passionate about this thing and i, I respect that don't get me wrong now do i agree with it not really but i do i do like to sit down and listen to what she has to say and it's very interesting um so I, I I do know what what conspiracy theorists are like because I'm pretty close to one, and um, and like in full honesty, uh, what makes humans believe this so much is just because a word called truth. Okay, now truth, if you use, it's it's scientifically proven. If you tell a lie to yourself long enough, it feels like the truth. So if you believe in this one thing for long enough, you'll feel like it's true. And sometimes it, it it may actually be really true, but other times it's not true, but you still believe that it is. Yeah, I, I hope that makes sense. It's because they're, they're living this thing because they believe it so much to where it just feels real. And, and, if, and if you make a lie to yourself for a long enough period of time, it will legit feel like a lie is a truth. And, um... And it's just crazy how the human mind does that, but it's scientifically proven that that's the case. 
So that's kind of how people believe in this absurd theories. And, um, and that, I hope that kind of shows you the difference between theories and absurd conspiracy theories. Is There's not a big difference, just society standards. Um, but yeah, ultimately, that's what makes people believe in those things. And uh, yeah, so next time you find yourself in a conversation, a little fun thing to bring up, fun conspiracy theories. And it's just also really interesting to think about, like, how would your world change if this theory were to be true, you know? It's just it's just fun things to talk about, and, uh, and uh, I don't have a beef with anybody who believes in any conspiracy theories. I don't agree with them, but I don't hate you for them. I'm, you can believe what you want to believe. <laughs> it's your life. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's that's the big difference between theories and conspiracy theories. Why people believe in conspiracy theories. Uh, yeah, I'll see you later. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, Real Talk episode four. Uh, it's been amazing. We've we've come a long long way, and I just want to thank you guys, all of you guys, for watching my videos and commenting. Even it was amazing. We've gained like four subscribers within the last like video <laughs> which is mind-blowing <laughs> sorry it's just so crazy i'm so processing i'm still getting used to this thing and uh, so yeah uh, then i just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video it means the world to me to keep on liking commenting subscribing and sharing it means so much to me uh it really does like to build this dream and watch it come true like video by video it's it's amazing it means the world to me so thank you guys again from the bottom of my heart i love you guys <laughs> truly i do okay thank you guys for watching the video i'll see you guys in the next episode of gregor kingdom out